I think it's about discovery. I think it's about the way that I'm discovering working in an abstract language over time. You know, moving beyond the borders of the canvas, but also returning back to the canvas and then moving out from it again. I'm Caroline Kent, and I'm a painter who works in expanded forms. The painting language always has, if I can like say it like this, it's always wanted to come, break out of the frame. I mean, it, I don't know if the language has its own agency, but the way that I think about it, the borders of the canvas, it always wanted to go beyond. And so it makes sense to kind of take over a space and interact with the wall and show up in multiple different forms. The title of the exhibition, Space, Shadow, Script, is really a way to work through ideas, how I've thought through how to connect these different elements that are in the exhibition. The idea to place a large floor plan onto the wall was something that came about after looking through um, a book I have on Mexican modern homes. And these homes are luxurious, and so the floor plans are extravagant. So. For me, there was not a point where I was connecting with the floor plan. It was a site of complete projection of wonder and fantasy and what it would be like to move through a space like that. And that the floor plan becomes a space that is highly choreographed for the individual to live um, and move through that space on a daily basis. Which is not unlike how I think about painting in some ways um, as a site for the projection of desire and wonder and um, dream. Painting the floor plan on the wall and not signifying um, with any text what any of the spaces are, it becomes quite abstracted. And then you're left with uh, rectangles, lines, dotted lines. And I think the, the place of projection and the moment of abstraction kind of meet together in that it's, it becomes kind of coded in the same way the paintings are coded. So there's these different layers of Giving the, giving the viewer a little bit of information, but not quite enough, and allowing the abstractions to kind of be in conversation with, with each other. And even in this space here might be good because it's like you break up into the space, but yet you have a lot of space left around it. We can do this with another one too. The paintings then become the language in the space, and these act and function in, in many ways like a script. So that if we're thinking about context and we're getting silhouettes, and if we're thinking of site specificity and there's um, the mapping of a, of a location that exists in the world, then the paintings really function as what the kind of narrative that can be built um, and what kind of activity, what can be performed in those spaces and, on, and in those locations. Secrecy and subtlety, I think, are two words that I've been thinking a lot about while putting this show together. And I think the way that someone might utilize a recessed space in a home, whether there's an icon in it, a religious figure, or any kind of object, I think it creates a kind of intrigue to what is that person's relationship to the object that they are giving special preference to by placing it in a very distinct space. And because of that, I think that informs how I think about secrecy or preciousness or it's, it's, um, it's the unknown relationship one has to an object potentially. And I think the recessed space kind of sets that up. One thing I don't talk about ever is like emo the emotive, the emotion and feeling and what 
my, ex my own expectations around that are. And I think the quietude of painting the silhouettes on the wall was really exciting for me because it brought this more distilled moment. And I think that the moment of activity is the height of drama, which is when people fill the space and move around it. And I think that in the quietude, though, and in the quietness of form, I think that's where I can locate my feelings. And maybe that's contrasting the busy street outside on Chicago Avenue. Um, the busyness of Chicago Avenue and then coming into quietude and then, you know, having the time and space to kind of walk through this exhibition, I think that it allows for emotion and drama and the emotive to kind of happen. You've got sonography, you've got setting, you've got script, and I think narrative is kind of the point where the audience or the spectator the person visiting the gallery can kind of imagine what that narrative might be.